So I was here uh, 90 through 94. Uh, I was actually uh, probably one of the first computer science majors, uh, also a math and business minor. And I played football uh, all four years. Uh, I was in a fraternity. Uh, and actually, my on-campus job, although I had many, uh, my last one was at the alumni um, department. It is a great school. Uh, you know, being in the Midwest, I think the opportunity to both play football in college, which I didn't think I'd have that opportunity, uh, presented itself. That was also a means for me uh, to get a great education. So those those two things combined uh, kind of sealed the deal. Participating in the alumni department as a student kind of helped me understand, you know, how alumni continue to interact with the university. And my family, uh, I have a long history of kind of teachers. Uh, in my family as well. So kind of giving back through education was always something very important to me. So today, I work to help create the entrepreneurship minor, working with professors here. And I'm also the entrepreneur in residence, so I co-teach classes uh, every semester. I've been doing that for about five years. Additionally, uh, provide a fellowship every semester now for students. There's a business idea competition. Uh, and if they win, they get funding so they can actually just focus on uh, creating that business. I think we've done that over a dozen times in the last few years. Additionally, I wanted the students to actually run a business. And so we decided um, that the best opportunity was to actually run an Airbnb short-term rental uh, in the Bloomington Normal area. So we've been doing that. Uh, the students help both select the house, furnish the house, actually put it up on Airbnb, manage it. It's completely managed and run uh, by those students. Uh, so there's a lot of different avenues from either helping people start businesses to actually running businesses to um, teaching about how to actually run a business. So I had started a services company uh, as a IT services system integrator and uh, had built and sold that company. And so today I'm actually kind of somewhere between you know, venture capital, private equity, uh, investing in companies that I'm building, investing in other companies that I'm supporting. Uh, so I kind of act as uh, both an investor, a board member, uh, sometimes an operator. So I'm kind of doing a bunch of different things on top of being a, uh, a dad and husband. When I think about all of the, there's a lot of entrepreneurs that come out of the Midwest. Uh, a lot of them have come out of Wesleyan. I still have great relationships uh, with a lot of my classmates, peers, colleagues, and they all have started businesses. So I actually hope they all are also selected because I know it's, it's a competitive group. There's a lot of very smart, ambitious people. So I'm uh, very honored to, to have been selected. Although this award is for entrepreneurship, an entrepreneur doesn't do it alone, right? They have their family, they have their friends, they have the community, there are people that support them, other businesses that support them, other people that know they're taking a bit of a risk, they know it's going to be not a normal job, and they need that support from all of those people. So I would actually thank everybody uh, that's actually listening to this, because in some way they help support entrepreneurs and make them kind of make it through you know, tough times and help them succeed. So 